Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you have watched the previous videos. And if you have any doubt in any topic, kindly post in the comment section below. In next video, I will try to clear your doubts. Thank you. In previous video, we have seen about uh, development, I mean different goals of development, different people have different goals of development. Uh, moreover, we have seen that uh, how to compare different countries. The very basic thing we have seen that comparison of different countries on the basis of national income. But uh, the greatest drawback of uh, this matter, we have seen that it's not possible because uh, some countries are larger in terms of size and population. So, of course, their economies are bigger. So, we found that uh, one common matter which being used to compare different countries which is called per capita income or average income but uh, yes average income is uh, or per capita income matter is somehow appropriate to compare different countries income but uh, this matter doesn't give us clear picture about the inside of the country that means in the economy because uh, we know that people have different goals Yes, uh, people expect a better income, everyone expects that, but apart from it, the people also expect that social equality, uh, job opportunities, equal treatment, respect in the society, as well as uh, safety, dignity of individual, and there are so many other factors people consider. So in this way, that per capita income is not enough to give us clear picture. <clears throat> Apart from this, that uh, one example we have seen about two different countries where few people earn, few people earn that most of part of the total income is uh, their income is too higher and uh, some other people, most of the people, they earn less. In this sense that uh, we can observe social inequality in income. Like in India, we also observed that, that uh, like last time, uh, one data given by me that uh, 832 people earns 28 percent of total national income of India that means accumulated by 832 people only and the uh, remaining people seven, uh, 72 percent of people they earn less so this is the difference we observe in India uh, similar situation uh, elsewhere too so, per capita income is uh, not enough to give us clear picture. Uh, let's see one example to understand it in a better way. Uh, here, one table is given that uh, taken from your textbook only. Uh, three states are there, Haryana, Kerala and Bihar. And uh, here, uh, during the year 2015-16, financial year 2015-16, their per capita income is given in rupees. So, in Haryana, per capita income was 1,62,034 rupees per capita means per head per annum. <clears throat> in Kerala, it was 1,40,190 rupees per capita per head per annum and same in Bihar was merely 31,454 rupees. So, by three states, uh, I hope you can distinguish that uh, which is the richest state among them. Uh, obviously, it's visible that Haryana 1,62,034 rupees because it has the highest per capita income in these three states. But uh, what do you think? Uh, does it really a developed state? Can we call it developed sp uh, state compared to Bihar or Kerala? If you think yes, then your answer is wrong. Why? Let us see. Okay. Here, in terms of per capita, per capita income, Haryana has the highest, which is visible. But we also count other factors like health, education. Those are also important factors for us. So in health, we count here infant mortality rate, one of the indicators, infant mortality rate. What is it? Infant mortality rate means it indicates the number of children that died before one year of age before one year of age <clears throat> and their proportion in per thousand people per sorry per thousand live birth during a particular year that is infant mortality rate means when 
average 1000 live children born how many of them survive above 1000 right they are mortal and infant mortality rate that is here that means they indicate number of children die so those who fail to complete one year those number indicates infant mortality rate so infant mortality rate lowest is the better obvious so haryana 33 per thousand during the year 1516 kerala 10 and bihar 38 so it's obvious the kerala has the best least mortality rate that means the least infant mortality rate only 10 per thousand live birth okay next year literacy rate <clears throat> Uh, literacy rate uh, as we know that uh, measures of proportion of literate population uh, those who are called literate there is difference between educated highly educated and literate person literate person means a person or children's is above seven years who can read write or and understand at least one language is called literate so here literacy rate in haryana 82 percent here percentage here per thousand, here per cent means per hundred. Uh, Kerala 94 and Bihar 62. So in literacy rate again Kerala has the best performance 94 percent literacy rate. Next net attendance ratio this is related to education. These both indicators are education and the first that aspect of health. Net attendance ratio means total number of children of age group between 14 and 15 years attending school as a percentage of total number of children in the same age group means uh, total uh, state has a number of children between 14 and 15 and how many of them attend school that's showing net attendance ratio but uh, we count here in per 100 to get a clearer picture we count per 100. So, Haryana has again 61 here, Kerala has highest here, the best performance 83 and Bihar has merely 43. So, in previous per capita income, we have seen that Haryana has the highest per capita income. But if we add factors or indicators of education and health in these three states, the performance of Kerala is the best. Because as earlier I mentioned, apart from income, people also expect various things. Because health, education, those are various important things which people consider in development. That is why uh, HDI, that means Human Development Index, prepared by United Nations, UNDP, United Nations Development Program, which come health and education with per capita income and uh, World Bank which counts only the average per capita income. So in the next video we will learn about that HDI and yes people also expect for, for from government they also expect public facilities like uh, transportation, public health, education right those are common facilities which utilized by community. So public facilities, that is also one of the aspects. In the upcoming video, we will discuss about this too. Thank you so much. See you.